And this Highway 61 model has one special feature that the ERTL doesn't have. Hey hey everyone, Happy Dude here and thank you for joining me. So the last time we talked about these two cars, the Mitsubishi Eclipse Spider and the Mitsubishi Evo Lancer. But after they planned a heist, they decided to get two new cars. And those are the two cars. The orange one is the 1970 Dodge Challenger driven by Roman Pierce and the blue one is the Chevrolet Yenko Camaro driven by Brian. The Dodge Challenger is in scale 118, made out of die cast and made by the brand ERTL Racing Champions. And you can get a good one for around uh, $100. And the blue Yenko is also in scale 118 and made out of die cast, but it's the only one in my collection not made by ERTL Racing Champions or Joyride. No, it's from the brand Highway 61. Why, you may ask? Well, it's for one simple reason. The ERTL is simply too expensive. They go for around $500 or more, and that's just way too expensive for what it is. So I got this one from Highway 61. But let's start with the Dodge Challenger from ERTL first. And I thought it would be fun to compare it to another Dodge Challenger. Um, but sadly Highway 61 doesn't make one. But I did find the green light version. Now it's not the same um, car. It's this white one. Um, that's the one from Vanishing Point, but it is the same model, so we can do some sort of a comparison. It seems that the dimensions are not the same. Uh, the orange one has a higher trunk, a higher roof, and also a higher hood. And the white one is a bit longer. Let me give you the exact specifications. So the white one is uh, 26 and a half centimeters long and the orange one is 26 centimeters long. And the white one is seven centimeters high and the orange one is seven and a half centimeters high. So also, half a centimeter uh, difference and the white one is 10.6 centimeters wide and the orange one is also 10.6 the white one weighs 976 gram or 34.4 ounce and the orange one is 33.5 ounce or 952 gram and now a roll test oh that's that's not too good no it's a uh, very sticky yeah so this is the bottom of the car uh, pretty detailed and the wheels this one is okay this one also yeah it's the front wheels that uh, lock up a bit yeah this one is even worse okay and this is the bottom of the green light. Um, yeah, I think the details are about the same. Just the rear exhausts are a bit different. Yeah, you see. Okay, the wheels are also uh, different because this one is a bit modified because it comes from a Fast and Furious movie 
yeah this one has lower springs i think that's the difference or maybe um this version is lower in real life i don't know that and now the details um i don't see any window wipers but the orange one has the same problem okay so the paint on the white one has a little bit of orange peel yeah and the orange one um a lot less yeah the orange one is a lot better the paint is way smoother on the ERTL Racing Champions. And now the inside. So the green light looks pretty nice actually. We also have uh, some seat belts here. And uh, the seats um, are actually pretty soft, but they are made out of plastic, but they feel realistic. Yeah. The floor is also made out of plastic but it feels a lot better than than just some cheap plastic and we also have some fake wood here on the door panel so yeah pretty nice for a green light and now the ERTL um, also pretty nice uh, the seats uh, are a bit cheaper yeah it feels like hard plastic but it does have some uh, texture as you can see uh, the floor also has some uh, textures but it feels harder and cheaper than on the green light one and the door panel also has some fake wood but the plastic yeah feels uh, a bit harder yeah I don't see a lot of detail on the dashboard like the dials uh, are missing and the pedals are just some plastic blocks so that was a lot nicer uh, on the green light version same for the center console uh, that's a lot better done on the green light and we also have um, a little um, handle for the windows to go up and down on the side panel I don't know if we have that here yeah we do have it but it's just molded into the plastic here's uh, on the green light it's uh, a separate piece made out of chrome and now the rear of the car and I think that the green light one uh, looks better the exhausts are better positioned than the ERTL and we also have a real opening in the exhaust itself in the ERTL it's closed off and the chrome trimming uh, also looks better on the green light it's uh, better to scale it's uh, it's thin so it's uh, it's correct with the scale on the ERTL uh, it's a lot thicker a bit too thick for the 118 scale yeah and the um the fuel cap is a lot bigger also on the on the ertl way too big as you can see for the car uh this looks a lot more realistic and now the trunk um it's not possible for the ertl because it's closed off so you can't open it but we can on the green light version oh and there's a spare tire in there yeah very nicely detailed in fact and now the front of the car and mm, it's very hard to say uh, the grill is a bit smaller on the ERTL than on the green light that's the only difference I can see and oh the lights are a little bit bigger on the green light uh, I don't know which grill is the correct one also the lights uh, are bigger on the green light 
So yeah, I don't know which one is more realistic. And now the hood. Um, yeah, this one has more angle to it than this one. And it's uh, also wider on the green light. It's smaller on the ERTL. Um, I don't know uh, if they have any difference in real life. And I also don't know which one is uh, more realistic. Maybe they are uh, two completely different cars. Um, I don't know a lot about American cars. I just do comparisons for um, model cars. Oh, this one doesn't really open. It's uh, yeah, it's it's hard to show you like this. I'm scared to break it. Mm. I'm going to take the risk. Please don't break off. E oh, okay. It's a uh, it's a lock. Okay, those are two completely different engines, but I do know they talked about a Hemi engine in uh, the one from Too Fast to Furious, so that is correct. And this is just a uh, normal V8 small block, I guess. So even though it's the same car, it's not exactly the same model, but let's just put that aside for a moment. Um, because I just want to talk about the details and I can believe it, but again, the green light one is a lot more detailed. Just uh, look at that. You can see all the different components, uh, even the little wires for the battery. And now take a look at the ERTL version. Sure, it's a bigger engine, but all the components are missing, like the alternator, uh, the battery, the wires, and some other stuff. So I can hardly believe it myself, but the green light one is the clear winner here. It has a lot more details, and the dimensions are a lot closer uh, to the real car than the um, ERTL one. And now it's time for a comparison between Highway 61 and ERTL for the Camaro Yanko. This is my favorite muscle car, so I get why the real car and this model is so expensive. Now I can't compare the weight and the dimension because I don't really own the uh, ERTL version, so I had to get a video from somewhere else. And the bottom of the car is pretty nicely detailed. We even have an oil filter here. Yeah. And the paint job looks really, really nice. Uh, this is way better than the ERTL one. Now the paint job on the ERTL one uh, looks a bit dull compared to the Highway 61. Uh, I don't really see any orange peel, but it doesn't pop uh, as much on the Highway 61 model. Now we do have some window wipers on this model and also a little antenna here and the scale of the trimming that you see on the windows and the mirror, the door handle and the side gills, it's absolutely correct. It's not too thick like on a lot of models so that's way better on this model than on the ERTL. As you can see right here, even the chrome trimming on the side gills is missing on the ERTL version. Uh, same for the antenna. Now let's take a peep inside the interior. Okay. Um, it's a bit hard to see, but we do have some uh, pedals and they are separated from each other. Uh, the seats feel uh, very nice actually. We also have some seat belts here. Steering wheel looks nice. We also have some dials and buttons on the dashboard. Yeah, very nice. And this is the other side.
Yeah, that looks very, very nice. Now it's a bit hard to see because the light is not perfect in this video but the steering wheel is completely different and we have way less detail on the uh, ERTL model. Now it's a bit hard to focus because this uh, front window is in the way but you can see that the seats are uh, way nicer detailed on this Highway 61 model. And this is the rear of the ERTL and the number plate looks correct and this is the Highway 61 model. Uh, we do have an extra logo there on the back, the lights also have a lot more detail but the number plate is not movie correct. Now I cannot show you the inside of the trunk on the ERTL model because it doesn't open. But we can on the Highway 61 model. And there's a spare wheel and a fire extinguisher. And this is the front of the ERTL version. And here we have the front of the Highway 61 model. Now this is a bit more detailed because you can actually see through the front grille. But again the number plate is not movie correct. But we can always change that. And here's the engine bay of the ERTL version. Now I have to say that looks pretty nice. Yeah, we have a lot of detail in there. You can see the battery. Uh, the radiator, the valve cover, the air filter and the brake system. But just take a look at the detail of this Highway 61 model. That's just incredible. It's even more detailed than the uh, Challenger from Greenlight that we saw earlier. This um, valve cover is so very nicely chromed. We also have the um, exhaust manifold. We even have the little wires of the spark plugs and the wires from the battery, the alternator, the radiator, even the little sticker is on there. That's just incredible. And this Highway 61 model has one special feature that the ERTL doesn't have. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the springs on this model are so strong and there are two of them that the hood always pops open. So it's actually very hard to completely close it. You always have a little gap, as you can see. And as soon as you bump the table, or the model it pops open so I'm actually very happy that that I got the highway 61 model instead of the ERTL it's cheaper and way nicer detailed